With the update of 155 for Lost Relics, there is no better time for me to make my How Not To Die In Shallow Swamps video. Shallow Swamps is a crazy, crazy map, one of the hardest maps I played when I started, but the base concept here is just that poison is bad. So if you don't let monsters get near you, you are gonna be pretty, pretty safe. Ideally, this is played with a bow, I feel. The nearite monster is the worst, the wasp is bad, and the slitherers are like, you don't really need to worry about them. Go fishing in here, because when you fish, you get things that can be used to heal. And remember that right clicking is the win. So as soon as you see monsters on the screen, right click to take them out before they get to you and that is going to keep you safe and sound throughout the entire level. So what is this video going to be about? I am playing through shallow swamps with my basic setup, meaning that I have all of my, uh, my good gear, my legendary bow, my legendary utility items. And the purpose of this video is to show you guys how you can play this level strategy wise without it being much of a problem. So you may say, hey, I don't have a legendary bow, I don't have a Harvest of Sorrows, I don't have a Gradient Pumpkin. D don't worry about that, guys. This video is going to be showing you guys how you can play the game. And this can be used with any weapons. Obviously, the better weapons you have, the better gear you have, the better you're going to be suited to complete this map. But note how I am going to... Um, to be counterplaying some of these things, obviously taking them out when they are at bay, but also if I have a wasp coming to me, I may go to the side of it and take it out there. If I have a knee ride coming to me, I may be uh, like ignoring its uh, petals damage by again going to the side and attacking it that way. So the purpose of this video is mostly to show you guys the how you can counterplay this map if you have different opponents. And note that I'm right clicking most of the time because right clicking is with a legendary bow enough to take out any opponent. And if I if I left click, I can um, one shot everything except the warden and the near right. If I right click, everything except the warden is gonna be taken out. So I'm mainly gonna be using my gradient pumpkin for energy during this playthrough. Uh, consider bringing in a few energy potions. I'm probably not going to be using all five charges. I will aim at taking very little damage and the fish should be enough to keep you safe playing this map if you avoid poison. So there we have the nearite coming to me on the side. Did you see how the petals were shooting where I was standing before? So moving away from where it will damage will keep you safe from the poison. The same with the slither. It will shoot this gray ray kind of thing towards you if you avoid that if you dodge that you won't take damage now the slither damage is only like seven damage per second it is close to nothing the wasp damage is is pretty significant and the near eye damage is absolutely bonkers so what you don't want to see is a stacking of these three damage look again the wasp coming after me letting it go using its stop maneuver to counter it going to the side and then taking it out so basic things like this are going to allow you to complete this map without having much issues with it so it is not really about having the best weapon in the game having the best utility items in the game it is very much about like knowing how these mobs work again near right coming towards me moving to the side taking it out so I'm using my pumpkin now for energy. You can also just use an energy potion. They're selling at like 10, 20 gold, completely like nothing. Most players that play shallow swamps don't really do it for the gold. They do it for the chance of getting a gradient pumpkin from the scavenging loot or to level up fishing. Those are the main reasons why I play here. And uh, so like another thing I wanted to touch, like why, why am I making this video now? Well, it has been requested and I want to be making different videos for Shallow Swamps because there are different strategies that can make playing this level pretty easy. But in version 155 of Lost Relics, the Christmas update 2020, we had a fix to the bow. Previously, we had a close to infinite unlimited range on the bow arrows, so you could stand and just kill things from a range without ever having them get close to you. But now we have what is about a one screen range on the arrows. So you kind of need to get things close in order to deal with them with a bow now. And it has made the map a lot harder for many players that are spending a lot of funds on 
anti-poison potions that are losing their weapons, learning how to play the game a bit differently. So hopefully this video is going to be demonstrating at least how I, I play it without taking a lot of damage. So we've been doing the majority of the map now without taking a lot of damage. And what I want to do now is of course to show you guys <laughs> what damage. What are we talking about damage wise? We're going to be taking damage from the knee ride and we're going to be stacking damage just so you can see how fast you can die if you aren't careful in this map and why having just one anti-poison potion may be a good idea because consuming an anti-poison potion will make you immune to poison for two minutes and it will of course remove every poison on you. So now we have the near right damage just look at how my health is ticking slowly but surely down. I am regenerating a little over time due to my golden Evanbrook egg, but it is it is nothing compared to the amount of damage I'm taking from the poisonous petals from the Nerite. But that is once we stack a little bit more poison, it is just gonna be crazy, and that is that is the killer in shallow swamps. It is taking these triple poison stacks now we're just refreshing it so that we have like a full stack of poison so a little poison is bad more poison is worse we're just gonna take it here like that so now we have double poison they're dealing different amounts of damage again like i said near right is worse the slither the snake there is like the least significant amount of damage and the wasp is bad so just look at that 16 12 and 7 damage per second it is absolutely bonkers look at how my health is just going down so crazy fast and that is of course what you want to avoid the other opponents we have in this map like the mallows the the vamp bats they're no threat at all they deal no damage they're like a newbie dungeon kind of opponents that die with one hit from almost anything and most of the opponents are pretty squishy which means that if you can ignore poison with an anti-poison potion or if you can simply avoid getting poisoned the shallow swamps is a crazy crazy easy map so i'm just letting the poison take down here like you can see i have i have fish on me i'm fishing even more so these can be used for, for healing, even if you don't bring in healing potions. I'm probably just gonna use my uh, my Harvester of Sorrows because, well, I have it and it, it kind of shows the point. I have all this healing in these fish. I have like uh, the uh, the eel, the uncommon fish is like 500 hit points and the harmless hoppers are a few hundred. So I have like, as you can see, 550 health and 300 so i have more than a thousand health of healing from these fish alone and the only reason why i really took damage is because i let myself get poisoned so that is like pretty much the basics of playing shallow swamps in lost relic one of my favorite maps because well right now you can get the best utility item in the game in my opinion in here that actually drops the gradient pumpkin and um, it is I don't really understand why it is as cheap as it is right now if you want to buy it for for engine i think it is around 660 engine i feel it should be higher valued than the harvest of sorrows but i think that will happen once uh, once the supply has been farmed out of the game we have roughly 180 of these pumpkins left so it's probably going to be taking a few months before we have like gotten every one of those looted so besides that guys we have the christmas event in lost relic which is pretty cool fun and amazing i'm gonna be covering it as i get time and well i, I want to be looking into the different items and once i have secured enough of these coins and presents to to demonstrate how the different things look and work i will be doing a video about the event as well hopefully during the weekend maybe after but definitely i hope before Christmas. So anyway guys that was completing shallow swamps in Lost Relics again. Yes this was done with the help from a legendary bow. You can do this with different tiers of bows up to legendary of course. The legendary bow is the most efficient one because you one shot everything except the near eyes and the wardens but it is very doable also with an epic bow. I feel if you have a rare bow or an uncommon or even a common uh, it's not really a map that you should be fooling around with but go ahead just remember only to bring blockchain items because other items are lost when you die all right so i'm just going to be um 
opening this one present then showing you guys my equipment if you're wondering what I have and uh, like what it does. So that's pretty much what I had to share in this video guys. I hope you enjoyed as always. Thank you very much for commenting, liking, subscribing. I absolutely love you guys.